Hello guys, welcome back. This is the part 10 of JWT authentication. In this video, we are going to implement profile detail of current login user. Let's take a look what we are going to build in this video. So, go to user and view profile. We are going to implement this profile detail page with current login user detail. So, let's get started. First of all, let's go to terminal and new terminal and go to client project generate account component inside pages and gc pages and let's add account and skip test component generated so let's go to account component ts let's inject here auth service auth service inject auth service First of all, let's restart our backend project CT API and .NET was run here in account slash detail take a look copy this return type object and go to interfaces and file let's add user detail detail.ts let's export interface user detail let's paste it and let's get this done import and let's do it let's save it go to auth service and let's implement get detail method detail and let's add here of observable of user detail this dot http dot get type user detail and add here this dot api url and account slash detail let's save it go to account component ts and here let's store account detail this dot auth service dot get user did dot get detail let's save it and let's design our account component html and here let's add div class h screen flex item center and inside it div class container mx auto mi8 and p8 bg white inside this div uh, and let's add shadow also here shadow md rounded md mx wmd inside this div let's add s1 and give class text3xl and text gray 600 and add text here account detail account detail and let's make it bold font bold mb4 text center mb4 text center let's go to app.route.ts and add here duplicate it and account slash colon id and here account component save it run our application npm start click on this user and view profile we have account detail here but let's make it center here let's add here mx auto save it we have account detail center now and let's add here div and the if account detail async as user and go to component import common module save it close and inside this div let's add another div class of text center not clip center here inside this div let's add another div of class rounded full vg blue 400 maybe 500 will be good 
and mi4 x4xl w24 is 24 will be good inline flex item center just by center font bold and let's make text white and inside this div let's add here user dot full name and get first character and make offer case is a and class ui4 border slate form and add here another div class grid grid equals two and gap four inside this div let's add another div of class text gray 600 font bold let's add here full name duplicate it and let's add 800 and make it medium display here user dot full name in title case let's duplicate these two tips and here let's add email user dot email email and remove this title case and let's add here another div div class text gray 600 font bold and gives rules after this div let's add another div and add ul and add here ul class class flex gap one text xs inside this let's add li and let's keep class text gray 800 font let's add here bg green of 700 text white rounded md py1 px2 and here let's iterate with rules and z4 let rule in rule of user dot rules let's send here rule dot this div let's add here another div class text gray 600 font bold paste here user dot phone number otherwise let's duplicate it and add here axis field count and here axis field count let's save it and go to browser we have account detail here we don't see the things let's look console we have 401 unauthorized error this means we need to send authorization token in header when accessing this account detail endpoint so for this we need to add here interceptor so let's implement auth interceptor terminal and new terminal let's go to client and here let's send it interceptor and she send it interceptor inside interceptor let's add here auth let's keep name token interceptor our interceptor is generated let's take a look we have interceptor inside interceptor we have token interceptor here let's remove it and constant token let's inject here auth service and set if let's rename this with auth service and if auth service dot get token go to auth service and let's make token get token method public let's remove private here and go to token interceptor here let's say get token let's clone header constant clone request dot clone and here headers let's add here request dot headers dot set authorization and here let's add better space plus or service dot get token and return next clone finally let's return here next request let's go to app config and add provide client with interceptor let's add here token interceptor save it 
and go to browser you can see now we have com detail let's take a look in network tab we have 200 success and we can look here authorization header we have bearer and our token is here so we can successfully send token using token interceptor let's make it little round go to account component html and here and instead of 24 and here 24 save it you can see now see our account detail page let's add here let's go to navbar component html and in instead of one let's pass here user detail dot id save it we can go to home page and click here new profile we have account detail here let's log out our application and let's try to access account slash one we still can access this account page how can we prevent this account detail page when user is not so for this we need to implement auth card let's implement auth card so go to terminal let's go to client and generate guard here auth card ngg guard inside guard let's add here auth card and skip test and let's select connective enter guards inside guard we have auth card generated here let's remove it and constant let's say net snack bar and inject net snack bar let's say if let's inject here auth service and let's say for is logged in if user is logged in let's return true otherwise let's show mat snack bar dot open message you must be logged in to view this page and let's add here ok and let's pass duration 3000 millisecond save it and return false and go to route app route.ts let's add here can activate and pass auth guard let's save it and go to browser let's add here account slash one we can see we must log to build this page and after this message let's let's navigate to home page inject router and navigate to home page let's save it save it and let's try again here we can see message and immediately redirect to home page so we have successfully implemented user detail page so let's try it we can see view profile user id here and new account detail here